because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up about it. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Uma Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Big D, David Adelaide is in town. Old Spitfields Market for the Joyce Zhang Wei-in. Um, what did you make of both men up there? Yeah, man. Good fight. Both of them look like they're in good shape. Um, interested to see how the fight's going to turn out tomorrow. What are you expecting? A Joyce stoppage? Most people are going for that. I think Joyce stops him late though, 11 It's going to be dangerous early though, isn't he, as you like? Definitely, definitely. But I think if someone like Hergovic could take the power, then Joyce definitely can as well. But, um, Definitely going to be an interesting fight. Have you heard much about Gilai on the heavyweight circuit when, you know... There's some stories about him behind closed doors, you know. He's a good fighter. Um, yeah, he's got power as well, so... You know, it's a small circuit. Everyone hears something about everybody. Well, we certainly heard something last night, David, um, and this does affect you because you were going to be targeting a British title in your mind, but the board mandated Fraser Clark over yourself. What was your immediate reaction to that? It is what it is, man. I can't go and knock them, do you know what I mean? They've made their decision. Um, good luck to the fighters, man. There's different moves I can go down and then fights will probably be happening, but it is what it is for now, man. And uh, I ain't tripping. I think everyone thinks I'm more angry than what I am. It's just, it ain't that deep, innit? Like, it's just, it didn't happen. Um, yeah, man, what can I do? There's no frustration from your part? Of course I'm frustrated. I'm hungry, man. I, want, I wanted the fight. You know, um, I don't feel like something I turned 12, 12 months ago should have got it before me. Simple as. Um, but it is what it is. Are you bothered about the British title now? What do you think? Probably not. OK. Um, what do you see? How do you see that matchup anyways between Wardley and Clark? Do you think it's a good fight? It's not going to be a better fight than what I was, regardless. Me with, with both fighters make a better fight than them two fighting each other. Um, but yeah, it's, a good, good, it's going to be a good dust-up. I saw Wardley say, oh, your stunt at the press conference when he turned up didn't work in the end, then. Oh, I was pulling up on them on a different flex and then everyone was talking to me outside, telling me to ease up. I've gone in there smiling, I've shaken the guy's hand. It's all right at the end of the day. But, um, yeah, it's weird, man. Wardley loves it, boy. He keeps saying who am I and whatnot, but he bites out everything I do and say he's on my... Like, you know what I mean? So I was like... I don't know, man. He needs some people around him to kind of give him the levels. He don't really know the game like that still, and he's starting to prove it to me. Like, everything I say, he bites that. But I love it, though. I like it, because everything I'm saying, um, there's a reaction, so. So from your end, it's working? Yeah, man, he's an internet boy. You know, I just come on the internet, I do my little mess, and I come off it. I come back on the internet, I do my little mess, I come off it. Um, come on, man, I live in real life, you know. Um, I don't live at home on the computer and whatnot. So. Did you have many thoughts about his stoppage win against Michael Coffey? Pants, man, you saw that, man. Come on, man. This guy couldn't go in there with me with that sort of performance. Do you think now, ultimately, though, from what you're saying, you don't care about the British title, that when, if you do meet, it will be for something else down the line? You see that Jose Mourinho um, gif, if I speak, I'm in trouble. Yeah. So. Why are you going to be in trouble? I ain't gonna be in trouble, man. I just, it is what it is. You know, um, there ain't nothing to say to it, innit? If we meet, it's gonna be. So what, is, there, is there a fight date in mind and, and what we're going for is? I know you've been ranked recently as well with the WBO. So is that the route you're trying to pursue? Yeah, there's other routes I can go down. I've got good management, I've got good um, promoters. There's other routes I can go down. Out soon though, in the summer, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'll be out soon. I'm active, man. I'm only 26, man. I'm trying to stay as active as possible. And I'm always ready for a tussle up. Look at me, man. I'm in shape. As long as, as, long as I don't catch a left hook. Nah, man. You ain't going to catch one, man. You're my guy. You know what I mean? I mean, look, man. You know me. I don't do interviews, man. I don't do... Like, even now, come on now. What was I saying before? The, you don't want to do it, yeah. I don't do interviews, man. I can't... I don't want to stand in. There's cameras behind you. They're probably going to pull me for interviews. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to nip. But it's like... It's not for me. Why not? How comes you don't do much media? Because I've only interviewed you, what, twice sit down wise, and I've asked you a lot. Honestly, bro, because why? Why? What does it mean? I don't, it's just giving you a platform, I guess. Some boxers see it like that. I suppose, but I don't really need a platform. I go out there and I fight. I got a platform that I fight on, and that's what I really need to do. I've got my Instagram for the people that like me and tune in for my content. Um, so, 
Yeah, that's really it. Listen, you've always made time for me, David. Best of luck in your next move. We'll catch up soon, yeah? Top man. I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, well I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. Win it, their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 